Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate an email address using JavaScript. So let's get right into it. This is going to be our email validation function. It's going to be function, validate email, and email. So it's a function, we want to return a true or a false. Validate email will be the name of our function, and one parameter is going to be a string, it's going to be the email that we want to validate. Inside, we can do two lines of code. We can do const rejects equals this beautiful array of characters. This will be in the description below so you can copy and paste it. And then we're going to do return rejects.test email. So we'll be using a rejects to validate our email address. And a rejects is basically just a pattern and a set of rules expressed as a string. And we can then compare a string to it to see if it matches the pattern defined in our rejects. And this particular rejects matches a string that starts with one or more characters that isn't a white space or an at symbol, then followed by an at symbol, followed by one or more characters that isn't a white space or an at symbol, followed by a dot character, followed by one or more characters that isn't a white space or an at symbol, and finally with the end of a string. So this is just a really basic email rejects. Obviously, if you want something more specific or something different, you can swap the rejects. And then what we do is we do return rejects.test email. So this is our rejects here, and then we do dot test, and then we do what we want to test the rejects with. So we want to test if our email follows the rules and patterns defined by this rejects. If it does, this becomes a true, and we return a true to whatever we call the function. If it's a false, this returns a false, and then we return a false to whatever we called the function. So here we are going to be doing console.log validate email, and then we're going to put in an email address. You can call this function wherever you want, and this is going to work on more than just console applications. However, I'm just doing this to demonstrate for validation in action. And we can print out the result with console.log. Now, before we hit play, there's one more thing I'm going to do. I am going to call a function called keep console open after we print out our validation result. This is going to keep the console open. You do not need this function. This is just if you're on Node.js and want to keep the console open so you can view the output. And this is the function. Don't worry, uh, there's an I up in the corner if you want to learn more about how it works. There's also going to be this code in the description below so you can copy and paste it if you just want to follow along with this tutorial. Again, this has nothing to do with the email validation. It's just to keep the console open so we can see what's going on. With all of that, we're going to hit play. And it's true because we got email at gmail.com. Well, if we take out the at symbol, then save our work, then hit play. Well, it's invalid now. What if we do like two at symbols and it's false? because I don't think email addresses are meant to have two at symbols next to each other. What if we just put a dot, but nothing else after? Well, it's false. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more JavaScript tutorials.